something from me and then put something in me. It's amazing how a month, a month goes by and how much news happens and we forget certain things. How many remember those 14 soccer kids in Thailand stuck in the cave? You guys remember that? Let me tell you about the, who the hero of that story was that they don't talk about. 14-year-old Abdul Sam was the hero. 14 years old. Pastor, and, and, and when I read this, it was incredible because no one talks about this. Pastor Tim, why is he the hero? At eight years old in Myanmar, which the community that Abdul Sam lived in, the whole area was filled with drug trafficking and filled with sex trafficking, and the parents were living in such poverty that they had this little boy who was one rescued in the cave, one of those 14 kids rescued in the cave, and they took that little boy as an infant and put him at the, at the door of a church and said, we can't raise him anymore. We don't have the finances. He'll get caught up in drugs. He'll get caught up in the sex trafficking. We don't want him anymore, and left him at the doorstep of a Baptist church with these American missionaries, left him there. Do you know what happened to this little boy? In the next six to seven years, that family put the gospel in him, taught him English. He is the worship leader. There's a, there's a, there's a YouTube video of him leading worship at the church right there in Thailand, at Thailand First Baptist Church. And here's what's amazing. You know why God used the testing to produce something? Pastor Tim, what did it produce in him? They said that kid was the result of how they got out of the cave. Because when the British Navy seal found the kids and swam in there, he was the only one that was able to speak English and guide all those divers. And he says, we're okay, this is where we are, we can get through. He was the one that was communicating with the divers and every one of those kids to get them out. And when everyone thought like, man, your family jacked you up, they left you at a doorstep, he didn't even realize, nobody realized that he was getting prepared to be the rescuer about six or seven years later. See, you know what happens is we forget while we're getting stuck on what people have done to us, we forget it's supposed to produce something inside of us. And you know what it produced in Abdul Sam? He had a relationship with Jesus and thank God he could speak English because he rescued all those kids by being the interpreter right in that place. So don't get stuck, just go, God, what are you producing? And that's what he says, I want you to think forward because what you're going through is producing something. For our faith to be strong, our faith has to be tested. Tested. And testing doesn't mean that God is against us, but testing means that God is for us and for maturing us. That's what he's trying to do. That's what he's trying to accomplish. That's 